Now you may be wondering, what is April Dawn doing on a pile of furniture? So instead of you watching me slather my head in mud, I have decided to buy a bunch of furniture. Thanksgiving day, I went into our bathroom and I went into a cabinet that I clearly hadn't been in in months and I found this. So it turns out that there has been a water leak that has been going on for several months now. Clearly, I never used that cabinet because I would have called it beforehand, which I wish I had, because now I know that the reason why I have been sick for a while is because of mold exposure. So for the past four months, I have each month gotten bronchitis. So I have had four lung infections in the past four months. It's been a lot, but I'd been praying, you know, Yahweh, please heal me. And he, he had been trying to get me to look in that cabinet because for several nights I would lay down in the bed and a bright white light would come on in the bathroom. And I remember leaning up and looking when it would come on and it was coming from that cabinet. I would forget about it. And so Thanksgiving day, I went into the cabinet to go after some hair ties to make my hair all fancy for Thanksgiving. And I found that. I immediately uh, rubbed it down with white vinegar because white vinegar kills mold. And then I called my dad and he came over and he cut out the sections that he could get to so that we could open it up so that we could get, uh, get the mold pieces out. and I could um, kill any mold that was in there and get it to dry out. So that's what I did. I spritzed it all down with peroxide after he opened it up, wiped it out, spritzed it down with white vinegar and wiped it out and put a fan on it to let it dry out. So the following day, Black Friday, which um, I never go shopping on Black Friday. I went one time before with my aunt and my cousin. We went to Belk's. Um, and I got me two pairs of boots and a coat. It's been a long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> but my grandmother had told us that uh, Christian services in our town was having 50% off of everything in their store. So I had originally wanted to go to get a hutch for our kitchen, which I will show you that when we, you know, we do all that because we have some stuff that we're doing in the kitchen. I'm very excited. So... For the bathroom, I wanted to find a piece to replace that whole cabinetry because I wasn't happy with that cabinetry. It wasn't finished. And while this is a shame, it's also exciting <laughs> because at Christian Services, we found this beautiful piece of furniture. It is teak and it's handmade in Taiwan and it's the exact perfect size that we need. <laughs> so I will be showing you the whole bathroom makeover. So we're in the process of a kitchen makeover and now we're in the process of a bathroom makeover. They're both going on at the same time. It's a lot going on. And I'm also in the process of painting uh, the molding and the doors and there's just a lot going on. And now our foyer is just stuffed full of furniture because uh, I also, while we were in there, we found an entertainment center. Now, it's uh, it's actually right here, a piece of it. There's two pieces of it. Um, I have some ideas of what I want to do with it. 
So the I'm, I'm all staticky. So, it's like <laughs> so the piece that we found for the bathroom, the teak piece, they had it marked for 100 and we gave 50 for it, which is, I mean, come on. You can't buy wood to replace the cabinetry in there for $50, let alone teak. And it's beautiful. Yahweh's blessing. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know how else to put it than his blessings. You know, he's blessing us, even though, even though I'm dealing with not feeling good. I'm still <laughs> rejoicing and I'm still being blessed. You know, it's, it's felt like a lot has gone on. You know, I had my hand injury, which look at this. <laughs> no tendons damaged at all there's still a little stiffness because i mean it's still healing it's only been three weeks um from the cat uh, attacking my hand uh but this right here i'm gonna cry over excitement of this You know, there's times where you just you feel like you're cursed. You feel like you've done wrong. You feel like it's just overwhelming. It's a, a long time of not feeling good. <laughs> that, that is going to go away. Because I will show you what I have been doing to, to help clean my body up of that. Thank you, Yahweh, that... Tommy and Theodore neither have had any problems with this. I think personally, I wouldn't have had any problems with the mold if I wasn't breastfeeding. Since I'm breastfeeding, my body isn't detoxing other than my lymphatic system and me using the bathroom, just, you know, the general, what your body generally does to detox. Like my liver's not detoxing and all that because um, it, if my liver was to detox, it would... Uh, dump toxins into my breast milk so i can't do anything to detox my body in that way but i have been doing some other things to help uh clean my body up now i will show you what i do with that back to this amazing furniture I have the kitchen getting a remodel the master bath getting a remodel and now our den getting a remodel because <laughs> i originally wanted to do a built-in piece for our den. Tommy is working his behind off to pay debts off and he's doing an amazing job. And so we just, a lot of these projects have been just put off to the side. But then all of a sudden it's just like all these amazing, amazing things have been happening. So the entertainment center, we got it for $125. <laughs> and the hutch for the kitchen we got it for $87 and I will be showing you in future videos uh, these remodeling projects I'm excited so we're in the kitchen and as you can see another partially painted door for the mold toxicity I said I can't detox but I can take things that absorb the toxins. So this right here has uh, diatomaceous earth, activated charcoal, uh, bentonite clay, and a zeolite. Zeolite. So, yep, I take, <laughs> Tommy made, <laughs> made a label. He mixed all these up so that um, we're both taking it to help detox anything out of our system. And ever since I started taking this, I feel just so much better, so much better. We're upping our antioxidants. We are upping our antioxidants. So Tommy loves to research and uh, 
find different herbs and things that help with different problems. So he has, this is one jar. We have another jar that has camu camu, potassium, black pepper, cayenne, red pepper flakes, turmeric. Yeah, let me get that jar. Yeah, he just doesn't have it labeled what's in it, but this is uh, what I just told you. And it, it's spicy. <laughs> it's really good, but it's spicy. And this one right here has moringa, go-to cola, milk thistle, bilberry, fennel seed, fenugreek, and cumin. This one right here makes you smell like maple syrup because of the fenugreek. But <laughs> for me, what I mostly taste is the cumin. I told Tommy, I was like, this tastes like a, um, you're drinking some sort of Mexican food. I <laughs> started mixing up my, my whole concoction. Minus this, I, I took this first thing this morning. So I'm gonna show you my little concoction of the other two jars. My tripod just, it doesn't stand up as tall as me. So if I stand where like I would like to be standing, this is all you're going to see. <laughs> so I'm going to bend over. Um, my, my little concoction, I blended it up. It, because of the potassium that's in it, it fizzes up. So I like to let it sit. But I have it in some pomegranate juice. Um, sometimes I put it in grape juice. Because um, those are really good for your antioxidants as well. And antioxidants help your body with stressors. I got a nice enemies <laughs> showing you how I slather my head in mud. I'm going to show you how I drink mud, <laughs> which uh, this little mug, I got two of them. They're antiques. I found them at a thrift store and I believe gave like 10 cents each. I love these. They're so pretty. Mm, I got a little whisk. So here's my spicy Mexican uh, maple syrup drink. That's what I'm going to call it. Ah! Oh. Ooh. Spicy. Oh, I didn't mix it up enough. That last swallow was thick. Mm. I'm going to get some water. Okay, so the nice thing about everything that I just took is it increases breast milk. <laughs> so... Usually after I take it, I would say either tonight or in the morning, I notice an increase in my milk production and my milk letdown. So it's not only benefiting me healing, it's also benefiting Theodore because he's getting a lot of good milk. <laughs> okay, so I hope this video has found you doing very well and leaves you doing very well. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And if you just absolutely didn't like this video, just go ahead and thumbs it down. <sighs> but hopefully this video has helped people be aware of their cabinetry. <laughs> Check your cabinets. Check your cabinets. We have for future videos, it's uh, cabinetry. <laughs> painting. Furniture moving around. I'm moving to bed. More cuteness from Theodore. <laughs> <laughs> and me feeling a thousand times better. I really do hope that everyone has a really good and blessed day and night. This has been April Dawn with love. Mary on a beach. <laughs>